Praise God. And it's Pastors Alvin and Latoya White of Empowering World Christian Center. Hope everybody is doing well. We wanted to talk about something. I wanted to talk about something. So let's talk. Let's talk about something. Here. Um, talking about the prophetic. Mm -hmm. Talking about the prophetic. You know what the prophetic is not? The prophetic is not watching my favorite news network, mm -hmm. listening to my favorite news pundit, mm -hmm. and then going and prophesying. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not the prophetic. The prophetic is not listening to my favorite politician and then going and prophesying. That is not the prophetic. But we've seen that for years and so much mm -hmm. in the body of Christ that we have lost sight of what the purity and trueness of the prophetic is. Mm -hmm. Because the prophetic is really saying whatever God says. Yes. The prophetic is saying whatever God shows you, whether you like it or you don't. That's true. Like if God says, hey, all of the um, cherry cheesecake is going to be dried up from the earth. Mm -hmm. Now that would hurt. That would hurt <laughs> real bad. But it would be what he said. So whether I like it or not, that's, I have to do that. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and so God looks for purity. The most dangerous people in these last days will be people you cannot lie to. That's so true. Mm, that's true. The most dangerous people that will be in these last days will be people you cannot lie to. Jesus was so, so amazing. You couldn't even lie to him. Mm -hmm. He would say to them, why do you reason among yourselves? Mm -hmm. They didn't even say nothing. Mm -hmm. he, he would say, what, you know, why and if you he, think evil in your heart? why do you think evil mm -hmm. in your heart? And if they did, were, if they were talking, they were talking way over there yeah. of which he would have been able to be in Ear. earshot. Yeah. And, but he knew by discernment and by the spirit of truth that this is what they were saying. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, remember Elisha in Second Kings chapter six, and yes, first uh, off. yeah, he says, "Man, you know how how they know everything that we do it." Mm -hmm. He said, "Well, Elijah knows what you're talking about in your chambers." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be the most dangerous people on the planet for the kingdom, and that's that's the people that we need. That's the people that we need in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. People that you can't lie to. And, and my heart is so passionate about that right now because there's so many lies. Mm -hmm. And God told me that 2020 would be the year of conspiracy theories and lies. Mm -hmm. The year of conspiracy theories and lies. And so many Christians believe in it, just consuming it, just believe in it, consuming it. And it's like, wow, how are they doing that? How is this possible? How are they not? You know what? Mm -hmm. He said, there's coming a time. God is looking for those who worship him in spirit Mm -hmm. and in truth. Mm -hmm. And he's the father of spirits. He's mm -hmm. the God is spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. The father is seeking for those to do that. Mm -hmm. We are missing. There's people in the body of Christ that are not really tuned into the secret place of worship mm -hmm. because that will, the spirit of truth won't let you be lied no, to. No. The spirit of truth, it won't, truth, let, you it won't, it won't let you lie. Uh -uh. It won't let you lie either. No, you'll be convicted by the Holy Spirit. And that conviction only goes away by two ways. Um, coming clean with the truth mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or ignoring it for such a period of time that you become desensitized. Wow. And that's scary that's and dangerous. scary and dangerous. When you get familiar with that grieving of the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, it mm -hmm. is a horrible feeling. We got a lot of people prophet lying. Versus prophesying. Mm -hmm. And that's because they have not submitted to the spirit of truth. They've submitted to this spirit and that spirit. Mm -hmm. But not the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. I never, I mean, this is, we have never seen anything like this ever in the history of history in America. Mm -hmm. Where there's so much deception. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said in Matthew 24, take heed that no man deceives you. Yes. You know, when we think about the prophetic, mm -hmm. with, um, you know, both Pastor and I are prophetic people. Mm -hmm. When we teach the prophetic here, um, we 
tell the people to be conscious of what you have entertained. Where's your soul? Where is your soul? Because that's the filter. That's the filter. Mm, the filter. Yes. See, it's coming from the spirit. Yes. And this is the purest form. It's, yes. And so then it goes through your soul, which yes. is your mind, your emotions, mm -hmm. your will. It goes through that. And if your mind and your your soul is not a good spot, yes. it'll interpret yes, it, it will. wrong. Yes, it will. And it'll twist it and yes, turn it. it and you'll prop a lie. Yes. Yes. That's why you got to have a pure heart yes. and say, okay, spirit of God, speak. And, oh, okay, this is what he said. I just got to say it. Whether it comes in agreement with the masses, mm -hmm. whether it's what everybody wants to hear, mm -hmm. whether it's what everybody likes to hear, because mm -hmm. we are living in a time where people are itching ears. Mm -hmm. They want to be, hey, tell me this, tell me mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. They want to hear what um, they want to hear. They want to hear what makes them feel good yep. at that moment. Yep. So you have to be, when it comes to being a mouthpiece for God, yep. be a God pleaser. Please God mm -hmm. and not man. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Meditate on that. This is the time, prophetic time, to hear the voice of God. Amen. Makes your heart, make sure your heart is pure. Guard your heart. Yes. Because out of that flow the issues yes. of life. So mm -hmm. You gotta make sure your heart is pure. Purity, how somebody's how to come, what are you talking about purity? Reverence before God, that's number one, and the love of God. Yes. When you love God more than anything, and that's that's the only thing you want to please, and you revere him, that is going to cause purity. Mm -hmm. And that's what's lacking and missing in the body of Christ. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Oh, don't forget to like our our work on our Facebook page and the Empower World Christians on the YouTube page. Don't yes. forget to do that. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.